The Coleraine High School dance team is without coaches. Three former volunteer coaches now say they were unjustly fired. WCPO 9 News reporter Jessica Hart talked with one of the coaches and tried to get answers from the school board. The Northwest Local School District Board of Education president told me no comment when I asked about the situation with the dance team. I also asked the superintendent if they plan to hire new coaches. He told me to talk to the district's public information officer. But before the meeting Monday night, the dance team voiced their concerns in the streets. Keep our coaches! Keep our coaches! outside Coleraine High School. I wish I knew why all this is happening. The dance team protested a decision made by the school. It left them without a leader. Last Friday, um, I was terminated from my voluntary position as the dance coach without warning. A move that almost brought dance captain Alina Farrell to tears. They were the only people who believed in us. When we didn't believe in ourselves, they believed in us. They built us up from the ground up. The district informed the dance team that they'll transition into a drill team. The new classification means the school has to hire someone within the district to lead them. Former coach Cheryl Cooper says the dance team has been treated unfairly from the beginning. Some of the things that we face are three different times we've been given the different numbers of athletes we need to participate. I obtained emails between Cooper and Coleraine High School Athletic Director Matt Stoinoff. Stoinoff stated in July the team needs 12 to 15 students. In August he says the team needs 8 to 10 students. The girls are forced to do multiple showcases that no other team does. They've been called unpolished and unprofessional. Emails show the dance team couldn't perform at football games during halftime because of timing. The students were eventually allowed to perform at the games, but not the whole team. And their performance had to be approved by the school. Cooper recalls one conversation she had with the school official. He stated, if I was a 65 year old man who's been in Coleraine my entire life, if I was at a game and watched you perform, would I be offended by you? So to me, that says, that the things that we are facing is because of the limited mindsets of some people. I think they're just not receptive to dance. They don't want diversity within their school. It's why Cooper, along with some of her dancers, spoke at the Board of Education meeting to let them know they don't think the school is making the right call. I asked Cheryl Cooper after the meeting if she felt like speaking to the board would change anything. She doesn't think so. She is happy that she came here tonight to give her side of the story. The district posted a new job for a new drill dance team sponsor on Friday. Reporting in Coleraine, Jessica Hart, WCBO 9 News.